In this video, I'm going to be breaking down the 3-4 odd defense in Madden 25 and why it is probably one of the top five defenses in the game and pretty much got the best blitz pressure, the best type of defense if you want to really send a lot of people at the quarterback, in my opinion, is going to be something like this 3-4 odd. Now, what you want to do is this is in the Vikings playbook. If you guys want to uh, make sure you have auto flip off in your coach adjustments, this is really going to help the blitz as a whole. And the biggest tip that I can give you for this blitz is have auto flip off and have fast linebackers. Fast linebackers are what make this defense so effective. You want to have those fast linebackers, especially on those outside edges. Everything is going to be based out of pinch bug zero because of the blitz angles that this blitz affords us. This is going to be the primary way that we're going to be uh, trying to get pressure. Now, what you're going to do here is typically what I like to do is this look oftentimes is going to force them to block somebody. But the biggest tip that I can give you here is I want you to use her opposite of the tight end side. So as you can see here, this linebacker is on the tight end side. We're actually going to slide him over so that he's actually engaging with this left side of the line of scrimmage. And then one of the important things that I think you can do is start out with just a send five. You don't have to send six. Um, you can just send five. So we're going to take that middle linebacker and man him up onto the running back. Here we have everybody manned up. We can adjust our coverage however you want, but what you're gonna see is this five man is going to get you instant pressure. It can sometimes come from that outside linebacker. It can sometimes even come through the A gap, as you saw right there with Michael Parsons, uh, kind of shedding through the, the middle of the defense. But this then five is one of the most effective ways to just get good pressure. As you can see, just very consistent send five. If they send five out against your five man blitz, you're gonna get pressure. And then the next thing that you're going to be able to do with this defense, though, is they are going to start to block the running back. And what happens a lot of times is when they block a running back against this blitz, you're still going to get edge pressure if you send the six. So what happens is when they block the running back, that linebacker is going to engage with the running back. And so if they ever block a running back and you send six, you're almost always guaranteed to get that pressure. Now, what they're eventually going to do, and this is probably the best way to pick up the blitz, is they're going to block a tight end, okay? And when they block a tight end, this is why you want to stand opposite of the tight end side with your user. It's going to allow that wide, that um, that solo side linebacker to be able to come around the edge, as you can see, and get pressure. Now, I know the running back's open. I got to go user that. That's my responsibility. But basically, what you would be doing in a situation like this is if they're blocking the running back consistently, you know, all you have to basically do here is just go guard the running back. As you see, you get the pressure and then you're able to get the coverage behind it. You don't have to press your coverage. You can leave them backed off if you want to. You can press, you can press and then back off. Um, you can move manually move the corners if you want to play a little bit more zone. Uh, all of those are options. But what I want to also encourage you to do is once they start to max protect or they start to just pick up the blitz, maybe they have a pass protection or something like that, every now and then you want to send three or four. And the way that I like to do this is I like to basically play a essentially cover for a shell in which I'm going to switch stick onto these quarters. And basically what's going to happen is we want to leave this linebacker blitzing. And what will happen is if they block a running back, this linebacker blitzing through the A-gap is going to get a one-on-one -on -one and he's going to almost always instant shed. Now, if your opponent is consistently blocking a tight end and they send the running back out in this case, I'll show you what this looks like real quick. What you're going to see here is you're going to see that this linebacker is going to basically be uh, a decent, it, it, he'll shed decently. It's not going to be as good as if they just block a running back. So that's why block tight end is, is ten, tends to be the way that most people like to block this blitz. Uh, that being said, one of the things that you can try to do against a block tight end is if they are blocking a tight end, you can try to send five off of this tight end side. So it might be a coverage that looks something like this. That way you have flat protection on both sides. And occasionally this can come in, as you see right there, against a block tight end. So block tight end is not the full cell best. You know, it is the best way to block the blitz, but it's not 100%, right? Uh, and so anyway, this is a great way to be able to send six, five, or four. If you want to send three, uh, if you want to send three of your opponent, one of the things that you can do here is if you blitz your user, uh, this will still allow you to get pretty decent sheds. And it's kind of that same thing that I was just talking about, where if you send th uh, send three and you have that middle linebacker be one of the three and they block a running back, you oftentimes are going to get a one-on-one -on -one with him and he will instant shed him every single time. So 
That is the 3-4 odd defense in Madden 25. If you guys want to check out the rest of the scheme, make sure you join our school community at the link in the description.